<laughs> what is everyone? Welcome to the Nerd On Update, the weekly show where we talk about the stuff in the news that excites us. We also take questions from you, the people, people. the, the people. Oh, the listeners. Uh, do we need to do this, uh, yeah, well, Addies first? first? Let's get it out we've, there, baby. We've got some housekeeping. Uh, yeah, get it out there. Uh, this podcast is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the easiest way to create your own podcast. We use Podbean to host this show, the Nerd On Update, and uh, our other weekly show, Nerd On the Podcast, and our sister show, The Capeless Crusaders. Bow, 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 bow. Download the free Podbean podcast app to start, record, and publish your very own podcast in minutes. Podbean provides everything you need to run your podcast, and you can record and publish episodes directly from the app on your phone. What? Download the free Podbean app today. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N. Check it out. Podbean. Well done. And Tom Me. loves this part. I so. do love this part because you know what, nerds? You know, we love getting our nerd on, but sometimes we can get some hair off. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we got to keep it cleanly, get the oh. hygiene up. You know, you not have to keep it trimmed all the way down to the skin. You know, just a little nice, a little trimming. And uh, it, it's 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 wow. my pleasure. Keep, keep it keep it nice and tight. Huh? Yeah, exactly. All uh, right. Smooth. Okay. And and happy. All right. And and cleanly. You know, mm -hmm. just keep it organized. Just okay. Shows that you're doing keep a little bit it more. Organized. Little upkeep. Yeah. A little landscaping. And so it's always excited for it's always exciting for me uh, to be able to share the fact that support for Nerd on the podcast is brought to you by Manscaped. Who is the men, uh, Who is the men? The best in men's below the waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Ooh, I love that part. That logo is spicy, too. It's so good. Uh, Manscaped just launched their fourth-generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right. The 4.0! Join over 2 million men around the world who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you! 20% off in free worldwide shipping with the, cur with the code NERDON. N E R D O N at manscaped.com. I got to say, that little light, so choice. So helpful. So <laughs> choice. So helpful. <laughs> and so are we re reading from a script? Yes, we are. Because oh. we're required to. But also, I'm not an actor and I'm terrible <laughs> at that. So I do, I do the best I can. And no, I, I think you did great. Yeah. Anyway, no, you're getting manscaped. Better. It's better than what our comics. Go to nerdon.tv hey, no, backslash. Canonically. Comics. People love that. I was gonna say his his uh, <laughs> his comicsology ads are pretty. Spot on. He'll get there. Canonical. He'll get there with this. He'll yeah. get there. Yeah, yeah, he'll get there. Yeah. Shall we uh, get on to uh, the meat and potatoes of the show? Sure. Get on to some news. I think yes. that's what the people want. The yeah. people want that's it. That's what they so, came here for. Oh, Tom, okay. what's your news? Oh shit. Um. Well. Uh. So. I made a big <laughs> deal that you know I'm the DC boy, even if I don't have DC news and today this i wanted to talk about some something i was kind of excited about um and i'm also gonna be covering caitlin's news so i'll go i guess i'll do her first okay uh stream deck a new console coming out uh for for steam games yes it um, is very similar to a nintendo switch it's a handheld uh device um comparatively between the switch the main spec that i can really pull away from is a lot of people are kind of just biting of like how good is it going to be depends on how you're actually wanting to play it with in your hands um you could download all your games from your steam library um and uh it does weigh considerably more than a switch a switch i think weighs half a pound when this weighs 1.6 pounds oh wow so who knows how it all comes I down feel to like it. with a it, it would need to have some oomph yeah comparatively how much is like a macbook weigh do you know off the top of your head um roughly a, a normal i mean depends of uh, the the make and model. So if it's a MacBook Pro, I think they were like two point six pounds. Okay, just to give like an lightest. example, most people know how much. Yeah, because I think an, I, an iPad still weighs less than a pound. Okay, so um, mo normal iPads now. So wow, that's a deep cut old job. Yeah, knowledge. I know. I threw I, it I, to you. I was just sitting here going, like, "Are we in the red zone?" <laughs> <laughs> I threw it at you, and I was like, "Oh man, this is this is gonna trauma. Yeah, it's gonna so, trigger some trauma." Well, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I to me, I'm a big advocate for it just because I want more friends that I know that don't have to go to the painstaking uh, uh, pain of making a PC so I can play games with other people. So it's like, let's just all play golf with friends together someday. Yeah. Um, but my actual news is uh, a new game was announced recently, <gasps> and that was really exciting for me because y'all know I'm a, I like Smash Bros. And PlayStation had their ba All-Star Battle, whatever, Battle yes. All-Stars, 
which was kind of the same thing, but kind of dumb, um, because all you did was kill people with your specials, and I was like, okay, cool. And then there was the jump start. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. J- or jump force. J- oh, yeah. Shonen, yeah. Shonen. Jump force. All yeah. the Which is all that stuff, which is like a little bit more of like a Naruto clone, but this is like where it's a platformer, and you're knocking people off stage. Is Nickelodeon's All Star Brawl? Ooh, and I I have been saying this for a very long time. For every company that needs to compete <laughs> I'm with telling Disney, you. y'all need to have your thing that is like self referential. Like you need to play with your IPs as much as Disney plays with their IPs. You're not celebrating. You're not doing an Animaniacs where your your set is the Warner Brothers lot. And with Nickelodeon, I was like. You guys have so many characters. And so that... um, They really do. That uh, trailer came out, and a lot of people were really excited on the internet because they're like, who are they going to main with? Um, So, I mean, you have people like SpongeBob, Patrick. You have... um, Hell yeah. uh, You have the pink guy with the the big lips, I think, from All Weird Monsters. Oh, Um, the umbrella? Yeah. Or Ickis? I think Ickis. You have that. You have... The red guy, rabbit looking guy? Yeah. Yeah. Ickis. You had... You had so many people, so I think... And then there's the guy who holds his eyeballs, and that's Crumb. They don't think they had... They didn't show him yet. Oh, okay. But they showed, like, you know, Danny Phantom. They showed, um, uh, I think, Helga. They showed... I saw someone take, like, a screenshot online, and it was, like, all the Nick characters and then George Lopez. I don't know about that. Which I think was a placeholder, but like <laughs> that is technically their property, yeah. which is great. <laughs> um, but like they would, sh- they showed like uh, Niles, uh, Nigel Thornberry. They showed, uh, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think they might have showed Hey Arnold, but like they showed all these characters, and then everyone was like, "But where is Aang?" Mm. Oh. But the thing is, it's a little weird because what's Big Aang's big hang up? He doesn't want to kill. So how are you going to win a game if uh, yes. you're playing Aang and it's like, ah, oh, he's going to have to kill people. Um, Nobody so, dies. So in the silhouette, they have all the char- like all the characters on there so far. And obviously, if they do the Smash Bros. route, then they have, they'll have they have fighter passes and DLCs. Who knows? Um, or unlockable characters. But so far, you can see on the, on the box art, there is a silhouette of Aang and Korra. So it's like, you know for a fact they will be in the game. And I'm like, you got to put in Zuko. You got to put in Azula. You gotta, come on. You got to Come on, Mike. You got to have come Phantom Ball Z. Phantom, Phantom, Danny, Danny Phantom. Phantom. I hate that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they had they have all these characters, and I was like, this could be really, really fun if they if. And that's the thing with Smash Bros. that like it really found its maturity based on like multiple games coming out, and um and and smooth tight controls. So I'm excited for it. Um, and that's my news. I think it's gonna be a blast. Uh, nice, Josh. Back to you. <laughs> back to back to me. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of little things. Uh, I'll start I out with the do. shortest thing. Hey, you know what? And you get your manscaped to clean it all up. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Phantom, Phantom, (laughs) Danny, Phantom, Phantom, Ball Z. (laughs) So, over the past uh, week or so, Rockstar Games' parent company, Take Take Two, has been issuing DMCA takedown requests to remove GTA mods. Oh. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really know much about this, but I know, like, in the Fallout world, like, I come to learn this in the past few months. Like Fallout Four was basically unplayable without mods. Like there was some. It was major a little rough issues. around the ashes, edges. Yeah, ashes. A- ashes. The ashes. Uh, it was a little rough etch a sketch of a game. We're so, a talk yeah. show. So the mod, <laughs> the mod community's been a little up in arms about that. But there, I mean, there's some mods that are literally like almost 20 years old that they're they're saying nope, can't do that for copyright reasons. So that's a little interesting. But uh, my main. Main topic of uh, news today is that there is a release this week. There was a fan-made short film that is impi- inspired by The Last of Us called Stay that was posted to um, YouTube, and it's absolutely beautiful, mm-hmm. it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's a it's a really good film. It's about seven minutes long. Yes, it's uh, closely related to The Last of Us Part Two. Yeah, and it was inspired. So I should um, not watch it. Uh, actually, you could you could watch it and without spoilers. Yeah, you know, without spoilers. Good. It's I'm just gonna read some of the quotes from the creator. It, they said that it, they were inspired by the side stories found in the game. As a player, it felt like there were so many stories to discover from the what humanity had left behind. Um, and the writer and director was a Joshua Tunin who worked on the visual worked in the visual effects team for Captain Marvel, Godzilla vs. King, and he was also largely inspired by a piece of like. Uh, fan art that was posted by a concept artist by the name of Santiago Bentoncourt, which shows two corpses embracing against a wall, and one of them is a clicker, and they're just embracing. And it's a really, 
I don't know, when you play a video game, it's really fascinating to think of. Like when you see something that's just meant to be just like benign, benign in the area, you're like, like when you find Window those dressing. collectible things yeah. where you're like, oh, I wonder, I wonder what the story is of that. And this kind of explores that. And it's really quite beautiful. Um, but yeah, I really, I really dug it. It's getting a lot of press. A lot of uh, the game websites are checking it out and it's really good. It's like, wow, that's beautiful. So, uh, they have yeah, a good publicist. Suggest, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, so I'd say check it out. It is it is on YouTube? Name the title one more time for people. Stay. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Stay. But that is my news. Uh, Corey, did you have news? I do. I have a small bit of news. A little more personal. A little more uh, small scale. But I think I wanted to share with uh, the beautiful nerd on uh, oh folks at home, the nerd on nation, all that good stuff. Uh, there is a local band from my hometown uh, called Goodnight Texas. Uh, they are. Um, Getting back together after a year and a half after the pandemic and going on the road for the first time, I actually got to uh, meet them and hear them for the first time. They're friends of my sisters, um, but holy shnikes, are they fantastic. I got to spend a day uh, with them uh, in a living room recording on video some some of their live performances and stuff like that, uh, doing a bit of work with them, got to know them pretty well over the course of this like 14-hour day. And they are some of the most uh, talented musicians I've ever had the pleasure of working with uh, yeah, in that you capacity. Me some of that video. And uh, I just urge everyone to check it out. They are on Spotify. They are on Apple Music. Um, I ended up, uh, I was doing this up north, so I had about a seven hour drive back home. And I listened to them for a good chunk of the drive back, nice. just went through their whole discography on Apple Music. But if you're looking for some good, kind of easy listening, kind of rocking, uh, almost rebel country kind of stuff, uh, rock and blues, uh, definitely check them out. They're called Goodnight Texas. I just wanted to give them a little shout out on here because I'm a huge fan now, just as of as of this last uh, Wednesday. Yeah. So check really them out. They're on the road. Uh, keep an eye on their tour. Nice. Because, you know, live music's back, man. It is. Which is like, which is very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's very exciting. Um, uh, but that's I have it. some that's concert tickets in a few months. Do so. you? Yeah. So May I happens. ask? Whom? Oh Juliana yeah, Juliana theory. The Juliana theory. Nice. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Tom to his first show. <gasps> the only reason I knew that is because I'm like, wow, I don't know what this is gonna be like. Because <laughs> remember in our Punk Rock RS episode, he was like, I've never been to a show. That's right. I'm like, well, you're going with me. Yeah, there you go. Take the boy out. <laughs> take the boy. Take show the, him the ways. Take show him the ways. Um, so that's our news. That is the news. The next part of our show, like Corey said, in which we answer questions from you, the people. And if you would like to submit questions, there are many ways, but an easy way to remember them all in one place is nerdon.tv backslash questions. It has everything, including the Google form, email, and another big way is to join us live on Sundays on Twitch, where you can submit your questions in the chat and we'll answer them. Uh, we have quite a backlog of questions, so... Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? It's a good problem to have, that one. Okay, cool. Uh, Tom handles all the questions, so... Give me your questions. I, I am the question master. I appreciate him because he because there are so many ways to um, send in questions that he kind of like... I, I imagine I have... in like beautiful minds, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, putting oh. them all in and one place. And if you're here during the live show, you can submit them live uh, for yes. those of you who are listening to this after the fact. And I'll... if you are a member of the Nerd On Nation, you get what we call the Nerd On Nudge, where we answer your questions first. And you can ask questions like... Spencer asks... Shout out. Instead of one thing you would eat the rest of your life, what is one thing you would choose to have zero impact for you negatively to eat? You can get the positives from them, but they don't make you fatter or clog your arteries, etc. Example, I would choose nachos. I love nachos so much, but I also want like a double-decker oven-cooked pile of them where it's so many calories I shouldn't eat the rest of the week. I'm sure some people would pick like ice cream or whatever, but I'm weird. Burgers. No, nachos. Yeah. Burgers all day. Burgers. I fucking love burgers. I really do. And I know how bad they are. And I know that you're supposed to limit your red meat intake. But man, I could I could put back some burgers for sure. Uh, it's one of those foods I get like overly excited about. Like I get, <laughs> I, love, I love food, but when I have a good burger, it's like an out of body experience. Like I'm, I'm up here looking is, is down Kel at myself. It to you? What's that? Is Kel giving it it's to you? It's a good burger. <laughs> good burger. I'm like out of my body watching myself eat. And I'm like, yeah. That's a good burger. Yeah. So, home of the good, good burger. Shout out to Burgers Never Say Die. Home of the good burger. Um, Jash? Yeah, I think mine's pizza. Pizza? Yeah, pizza. Um, I really like pizza. Uh, no, pizza. And as basic bitch as I am, I love a good pepperoni mushroom black olive. 
like just in fact while bonnie was out of town because bonnie doesn't really like pizza i ate pizza a couple a few times yeah because i was like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it but i had the small you ones to give it to them i i you know i was just like oh this is fun so i love i love pizza uh, I think for me is going to be ramen. Mm. I, I mean, like, it's a good choice. like noodles. It's a good choice. Like, yeah. And that's the thing where it's like, I've been trying to be healthier and so I'm trying to lower my sodium intake and I know like a lot of noodles, <laughs> like if you cook any noodles, it's going to have like instant noodle or just ramen. It's going to have a lot of sodium in there. And so I'm like, yeah. man, um, cause my favorite noodle of all time is probably this Thai noodle called Patsyu, but like. Ramen noodles, like the soup, the broth, all that. Oh, oh, it's that good, good man. Gosh. But yeah, it's a ton of salt. It's There's so much, and that's the thing. I was like, do I just say salt? <laughs> it was like, not really, but so. no, but like specifically, because there's like some things where the salt, you're like, this is too much salt. Yeah. But but ramen, it's never, never there, that way. I've also turned. Sorry, I didn't interrupt real quick. I've turned up, uh, <laughs> from doing chicken noodle soup when I'm sick to ramen. Yeah. I found that it's like, nice. it makes me feel way better. I So this is what I used to do. This is a dumb thing. Don't do this at home. <laughs> um, when I was really, when I, when I am poor, at times where I'm poor. Um, so when I make ramen noodle, I'll do like two packs. But then I'll keep one of the the, the flavor packs. I'll just leave it to the side. And so when you the, just use the one pack with two with, ramen. With two noodles okay. and then I'll make enough soup for all that. But then like there's so much salt and flavor and all that shit. So I'll keep that extra pack for like a rainy day or when I get sick or I feel cold, like I feel like cold. So I'll just yeah. boil a soup and I'll just put that flavoring and all that stuff, but I'll make that into cups and I'll just sip that. Just drink the salt soup? Which is salt. Yeah. It's just, it's just salt. salt. It's just salt water. <laughs> it's just salt. When I was young, we used, to, beef. we used to like just get the ramen packs and put the, like crunch them up. Uh-huh. And then put the, the salt. Just salt. Eat them dry. I wouldn't just even salt. crunch it up. Yeah. I would leave it in its brick okay. form just like a and just... I, I, I can't cake it. There's okay. a place in uh, Burbank. You probably know this place because you hang out with Bill. Iman, they have their Iman noodles. No, I haven't been there yet. No, you, wow. No. I'm surprised. Yeah. Um, we do but, the taco truck a lot. Oh, okay. But uh, Iman, their noodle, they have a noodle dish there that's so good. So good. Yeah. Uh, next next question. question comes from Moira. Moira. <laughs> What's something? A movie, a video game. I like how you get so upset and he has literally given me permission. <laughs> because What's... I have, so, and this is like, uh, this is an unfair thing. Because I have an ethnic last name. Mm-hmm. And then I've had so many people give up on it. Mm. And I'm like, you know how to say Schwarzenegger. Shut up. My name's not harder. Yeah. <laughs> but Moira, it's totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> What's something, a movie, a video game, a show, an album that you wish people would give a chance? Oh man, that's a great question. Uh, it's a TV show, a movie, or an album. Mm-hmm. Um, Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> no, a lot of people. A lot of people have given that a chance. Uh, I would say it's not color. Selfishly, PAs. Oh, okay. I would. <laughs> I would really love for more people to check out PAs. We put a lot of heart into that thing, and. You know, I'm I'm happy with where it exists in the world and stuff like that. But I just, uh, you know, when you release a, a baby into the world, you hope it gets into some loving hands somewhere. Um, and I'm I'm some really loving, powerful hands. Yeah, well, loving, powerful. Hands. <laughs> Not even that. I'm just really proud of it. I think I think as as a whole, I think you can watch episode one to episode ten and and literally see how much we grow over over the course of that, from our filmmaking to writing to acting Definitely. to editing, all that kind of to stuff. To the in-story stuff. To the in-story stuff, yeah. And I'm I'm pretty excited for what we have planned for season two, whenever we can all, you know, this pandemic thing allows us to start renting places at a reasonable price, because everywhere I'm looking is still, like, way up there. But, uh, yeah, that would be my answer. I, I wish uh, more people would give PAs a, a shot. Josh? Or me? You. I'm thinking. Give a shot. I don't know, Batman versus Superman, the ultimate edition. <laughs> you take 30 minutes out of any movie, it's going to be bad. Um, anyway, no, I mean, what just uh, happened? Um, well, I was like, I, I mean, it's really easy to just name one thing, right? So it's like, uh, there's so many things. Audiobooks. Like, I love, hmm, I'm okay. really enjoying, like, I love I've never been, like, a big reader person. But now, yeah. like, I have no excuse. It's like Dune. it's being told to me. Um, actually, no. Book of X. Uh, I talked yeah. about it before, but like, I loved it because as a heterosexual man, like, it's 
it's something really delightful to have a chance to be in a self-narrated woman story Mm -hmm. and hearing how she experiences life and kind of just like the hardships that she experiences are are different than men, but some of them are created because of men. Um, But like, it's also like genre because it's like sci-fi because people eat rocks and it's wild and it, it's just cool. There's like really cool like analogies for like body dysmorphia and stuff like that. And I was just like, wow. I still think about that book every once in a while. I'm like, that book made me like, cry at the end, dude. It's good. Yeah. It's a good book. You have tear ducts? No. Oh, okay. They, they cool. come from my pee pee. Oh. It was just <laughs> sand. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> and then he went, Dune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dune. You Dune. guys will all see it. There's going to be a movie soon. Yeah. 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 So, um, soon, Dune. For me, for me, for me. Uh, <laughs> Juliana there no um, nerd on the pod no I'm just kidding uh, <laughs> but seriously build an empire um, I think actually I mean I think Fallout 76 I mean interesting. well whenever give, you get give me it my a copy <laughs> okay, I wish we had wow. like a zoom like a <laughs> what does that mean um, okay <laughs> I'll get you a copy. <laughs> um, I think that once you get problem past like solved, <laughs> pro- problem solved. Um, I think that yeah, it had a real rough, re- real rough. We can confirm we were there opening day, real rough, and that pretty much got blasted online. And I don't think there's been a lot of news on how it's gotten better. Yeah, there's still some issues, and I'm not saying play it forever, but give it a chance. The community it's a is lot of dope. Fun. The community is probably like it's one the, of the nicest online communities you'll find. I'll say that much. Yeah, they which is surprising. I'll hang out with people that are just like, "Hey, what do you need?" And then this is stuff that's hard to get. <laughs> what do you need? Hey, what, what do you need? need? <laughs> it's just like, really? Yeah. What do you need? Oh, you need lead? Cool. Here's seven thousand lead. What? And then they'll just go on their way. They'll just be like, "All right, bye, bye." Uh-huh. Or I'll be struggling with this mission, and I'll just notice like four other four hundred, five hundred people join. Knock yeah. it out, and then they drop all their things they got, and they're like, "Bye, later, bye, bye." So, I, but yeah, I, I concur. Yeah, good question. So, good. are you, you kind of like as I am with the DC stuff? You're just trying to be like, guys, come on, give them a chance. Am I the Fallout fellow? Yeah, you're the Fallout. Fella. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just break you? <laughs> um, it means I'm a Star Wars stand. No, you're the is... PA, you're the PA's papa. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. PA's papa. I'm, I'm good with that. Poppy. I'm good with that. Okay with that. <laughs> Uh, I don't have another question decided oh, I here. A question in there. Come on, it's, Tom. It's, it, 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 you had one job. The question was in there. What? You don't have an X next to it. Is I don't. I don't. The question. It's from Boom. Oh, from it's right Boom. There. Uh, it's right there. Okay. This comes from Boom. Shout out to Knight. Yeah. Shout out to the Knight. Oh my God, I got some. Not sure there. if it's been asked yet, but favorite D and D race and class to play as. Oh, we all know me. Uh, human, uh, human barbarian. Is it human barbarian? Oh, yeah, human barbarian for sure. Heck yeah. Um, even when I had the like, even my like the the campaign that we're playing, uh, basically a human barb, but has a secret. Yeah, he's a secret, werewolf. Secret. Yeah, but you yeah. still most of the time you're just barbarian boy. Yeah, barbarian boy. And then when shit gets real, then you transform. But yeah. I'd say most of the time he's still just human barbarian. I mean, he's swinging, got some baggage. I swinging will say that, that big sword. Yeah. He's got some heavy baggage. But uh, Tom, I haven't played anything other than like a human and elf. But I would really want to like play with like a dragonborn or like a tiefling. Like I want to play as a monster person because I like monsters. Um, and I like little demon devil boys because you know I'm a hot topic. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm hot topic. Like, I'm, I'm hot topic. I'll be 100% honest. Like, Inuyasha made a, a a big impact on me with like half demons and giant swords. And so, like, when I saw Cloud, I'm like, it's a cool sword, but he's not a half demon. Nice. And then he's like, oh, but he's taking like a Genova clone, so it's kind of cool. I'm like, okay, cool. I like it. You know, so it's like, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I also haven't played that that much, but my current character is a Leonin Paladin, and I fucking love it. I'm, I'm having so much fun doing you that. You keep making it, me jealous because I haven't seen it in play. It kind of, so. to me, thing of the palette. Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, it kind of sucks because, like, when we we're on this campaign, I was like the heavy hitter punching guy. Now you're the heavy hitter guy that doesn't get hit, but also could do magic. I'm like, is there a point for me anymore? <laughs> yeah, you still take way more hits than I do. What's but your I, HP? Uh, 97. Oh, it, it barely. It's no, I yeah, it, but I, like I have a lot of the I have a lot of the magic, and I do dot. I have, all my stuff is like blur. Oh, I forget and dodge your guys' campaign stuff. is like 
even going for for like a year and a half. Yeah, I mean, they um, have. I've like I've slowly drifted away. I'm like, I have to come back someday. I just <laughs> came back for the first time after two months uh, yesterday. But uh, the cool thing about Leonin, at least in their like lore wise, is they don't mm-hmm. really believe in in gods being these super powered people. Uh, there's like a this belief that, or at least the way I'm playing it, is that there's this belief that gods are nothing without those they affect, and so it's a symbiotic relationship rather than a yeah. subservient it's the, it's one. It's the Clash of Titans. It's yeah. So you know he sees his uh, the paladin god as as like a uh, companion rather than a uh, you know big figure in the sky. So yeah. Mm. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun flavor wise to play. Nice. nice. Plus I'm like s- seven foot four, so. <laughs> we, we so that's ha- fun. That's we have fun to play seen with. your character Zell in the Discord, and I, I think I think I respond to all of them. I think I react to all of them. Yeah, they're super dope. If you send it, I react. Yeah, um, uh, that is the pre-submitted questions uh, through like forms and such. Tom's got the Discord and chat, previous chats and and whatnot. So what you got? I have to take it away. Now. So the first question from the chat. Everyone, send us your questions, baby. Now's the time. Now's the time. Uh, first one is uh, from Zell. And the question is, question, what is the longest gaming franchise you could binge all the way through and not get bored with? Halo. Easy. Did the heater jump back on? Halo. 100%. Uh, I, how many games is that? Six. One, two, oh, three. Uh, Reach. Four. ODST. Oh, then there's five. ODST. And then there's uh, Halo Wars 1 and 2. It's like 10 or 11 games, I think. And I could play through every single one of them and, and be so happy. Hmm. Jash? I'm thinking because I got a couple in mind, but I am going to check the AC for us. Okay. Um, For me, franchise. And I don't know if this is enough to be a franchise, though. Because I would totally want to play um, Marvel Spider-Man. I don't think I could ever get bored with that. Yeah. And you could do Miles Morales, but like, does that mean I have to play all the Spider-Man games? Like, considering like... Like the Spider-Man 1 game, Spider-Man 2 game, Spider-Man 3 game, and the SNES games. Yeah, I like, like, I don't know if that counts as a longest running franchise. Um, Because I was thinking about like, would it be the Arkham games? And I'm like, no, I think I do actually get bored of them like sometimes when I have to do all the dumb Riddler stuff or all the little puzzles. Um, But uh, a longest running game... Why are you doing this, Josh? Josh is like totally just messing the frame. Yeah, he's pulling and, a Corey. Um, I think um, pull the Corey. I'm proud of you. I think for longest franchise, franchise, franchise. I don't know. I get bored of games. Spider Man, the new Spider Man, starting with the PlayStation, would be the one I think. Or Pokemon, probably Pokemon. You know what? Yeah, if I didn't have to catch every single Pokemon, because to me that's true completion, is when you catch every single. It doesn't Pokemon. say complete. I think it's just what's what's the one you could play through. Oh, yeah, Pokemon. I Pokemon. could do Pokemon. I could I could really do Pokemon. It's yeah. very easy. It's actually almost like it's really weird how it's not a mobile game. Yeah, and I'm like, it's yeah, it's so like you it, very little brain work needs to be done. Pokemon it's so, for sure. It's so fun. Yeah, and I could do yeah Coliseum. I could do all the stadiums. I could do every Pokemon. Yeah, I could do every Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I got you, Boo Boo. Thank you. I think. I think I could pull a Final Fantasy. Just start at one. Every Final Fantasy? <laughs> just, hey, I got a lot of content to get through. That means you got Crystal Chronicles oh, also yeah. on the GameCube. Ooh. You got yeah. the Dissidia on the PSPs. Ooh. You got all, you got, you got Crisis Chronicle whatever core yeah. on the PSP. Got Do I got to play all the side games too? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a franchise. franchise. Longest gaming franchise. You got it. It's Dur- you could do it. Dirge of Cerebus with that only is Vincent. Did you ever play that one? 40, yeah. It looks cool. 40 years later. And you got to watch the film Advent Children. Yeah. And then the film before that, uh, Spirits Within. <laughs> is it Spirits Within or Phantoms Within? I think it's Spirits. I have no idea. You know what I'm talking about? The Final Fantasy movie that everyone got mad at? No. Yeah. No, should... I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Everyone got really mad at that movie. There was like Phantoms know? and if the Phantom goes through, you die. Is that Secrets and Trials of Mana also? Or is that Final Fantasy World? I guess that, that's the oh, information we're getting from the chat. Wow. Um, next question? They said yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, from Gamer Fuji, follow-up question, I guess, if you run out. What is your perfect burger? Oh. I got to take a second on this. Okay, you want me to go first then? Yeah. Okay. For me, or Josh, do you have one ready to go? No, you go. You're okay. already... Um, perfect burger? Um, not going to lie. I re- the way is the way I make my burger. And so I'll have the patty, whatever, you know, obviously a good, you know, fat to meat 
you know, Porsche and all that stuff. But like, you know, you get a brioche bun and you oh, butter. You, wow. You, I don't, I don't butter the bun. I would, I would want to light mayo the bun mm-hmm. and have that grilled. And then for the meat though, I would want to do the very thin patty, mm-hmm. but then I would have like a thin slice of cheese. Okay. Maybe like four slices of cheese. Okay. And then another Holy thin shit. slice of meat on top of it. And then you seal that baby up. And okay. then you put that on the grill and then you cook that out. And then maybe, and then you grill some onions and then you dope the bun. So you have the, the you, condiments. You dope? The dope bun? the bun. That's what it's called. Doping the so bun. You get all the good, condiments The good on goods it. on it. Because t- normally that. you don't put condiments on the bun. You put condiments on the burger. Mm. And I so always do the bun. I, dope, yeah, I always I, do the bun. I dope the bun. I would do like, I would I would do maybe a baby a baby lettuce just to protect the bun from. This I didn't know juicy we were burger. doing nerd on the cooking stream. And then a grilled onion, and then some salt and pepper, and then that's it. The condiments would be uh, relish and mayo and mustard, light Dijon mustard. Mm. Mm. That's it. Uh, I know I'm smash burgers all day. Yeah, I you ain't are. got time for this chonky burger nonsense. Uh, double. You mean my burger? <laughs> no, you, you said thin. You, you know that thing that you just explained? It became chonky because I have cheese in it. Oh, well, that's not the patty itself, though. That's the cheese. Okay. Uh, smash burgers, but you got to get that, like, myartic reaction on the outside. Get that crispy edge. Lacy, lacy edge. Uh, definitely grilled onions. American cheese. I love all sorts of cheeses, but the way American cheese melts and hugs the burger mm-hmm. is just the best. Um, I would probably put, I'd probably put bacon on mine. Um mayo ketchup i'm not a big mustard guy but i'll put it out for anyone who wants it not a big tomato guy either put it out for anyone who wants it so i keep it simple uh it's got to be a brioche bun did i already say that no it's no. got to be a brioche but I, bun. I just assumed it has to be brioche, brioche bun all day smash burger uh cheese bacon lettuce and grilled onions that's it keep it simple oh and the you know special sauce mm-hmm Nice. So my 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 unique thing compared to yours is I have a little bit of relish. So Ooh, that's in the special sauce. Oh, okay. Okay. Sweet relish. Um, I would. It would definitely be just a a good old like a white bun, white bread bun, but like Potato. chunky. Yeah. Like oh, thick. Like like a good size because I don't really eat a lot of bread. So when I do, it's like I want to go ham. Like a little and sesame just like, seed bun. Like okay. oh, bun. Uh, and. Make sure the patty fits the bun. Uh, American cheese, lettuce, bacon, avocado, some mayonnaise, mustard. Like a nice, oh man. I'm just thinking about it right now. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, like I'm really, drooling a little like bit. My really, mouth's watering. Really hungry now. And so so we're going to order it door to Yeah. <laughs> I'm also, I'm not opposed. Uh, and, and I'm not opposed also. This is, this is, uh, this could be blasphemed to some people. I'm a big fan of of like rancher style burgers. So still the smash, but instead of grilled onions, you have crispy shoestring onions, barbecue sauce. Uh, mm-hmm. You do a white cheddar cheese instead of American cheese, and that's where it's at. I do like sautéed mushrooms. You could do that on the rancher burger easy with the barbecue sauce and everything. Yeah. Anyway, next question, Tom. Did you finish your burger, Josh? Yeah, I haven't eaten it yet. Okay, he was talking <laughs> about ordering. Uh, how many? How much time we have for questions? Uh, let's do one more question. One Friday, more question? Yeah, yeah, Friday. Yeah. Uh, this one uh, from Johnny Horror. I don't think we've had a question from Shout out. Johnny Horror yet, so I want to make sure that they get on uh, the show. Let's do it. Question, out of any DC or Marvel, what villain would you like to be? I know you... Well, no, because it's DC or Marvel. If it was just Marvel, then you, you would be Magneto, but DC and Marvel's tough. Uh, any DC, villain. Any villain in DC or Marvel. I mean, Magneto's such a... I mean... Who would I like to be, or who is my star sign? Right? No, like, it's who would it says who would you want to be? Who would you like to be? Like to be? There you who go. Would you Same like to thing. Be? Uh, yeah. I mean, because the thing is, like, to me, I still don't. I still stand on the pedestal that Magneto's not really a villain. Um, I really like Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, there's a part of me, and I would. Uh, is he an antagonist? I don't know. Um. Dark side. I'm reading the chat. Dark side. He's like Thanos. Only competition. Competent. Mm-hmm. Only competent. He's like Thanos. Only competent. 
<laughs> That's what it says. Not well, competition. But also Dark Side's multiversal and Thanos, there was multiple Thanoses. Yeah. Um and, and Thanos in their own universe could only use the Affinity Stones in that universe. If he goes to another universe, his powers don't work. If Dark Side goes to another universe, his powers still work. Yeah. Um, but um Dark Side is so OP. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, if, there, if there's one villain, in all honesty, like I could think about, and it's kind of a cheat. It's kind of a cheat. And this is like a weird thing. Maybe it's like a sh- shout out. Just League animated series. Uh, Bruce Timm's version. They introduce a Mazo, which is not necessarily how the comic book Amazo is like. The comic book Amazo mm-hmm. is kind of stupid. This Bruce Timm version is like a learning android that has regenerative nano uh, machines, parts, and stuff like that. Um, and he can just look at you and then m- copy the superhero's abilities. Um, at the end of the conflict, though, he says, like, there's nothing to offer you, you know, carbon life forms. So he ends up looking at the stars and he literally copies like the plasma of a star Whoa. and then becomes a star. Whoa. And he comes back and everyone's like, yo, we need the entire league to stop him. And they can't stop him. And then like they're like, sounds okay. dope as hell. And he comes back and tries to kill Lex Luthor. Um, and then the Adam tries like, okay, cool. The Ad- like Amazo can't find us if we're quantum sized. And then Amazo's like, I've been to millions of worlds. You'd think I couldn't see a molecule. And it was just like, oh my God, he's so cool. Um, so I, I really enjoy him, but then he ends up kind of not being a villain. So, but that's him. That's my guy. Yeah. Wow. Amazo. Bruce Tim's amazing. Do you got one? I think so. All right. I'm. I'm technically okay with this, but I'm kind of breaking the question. DC <laughs> Vertigo, Preacher, the no, Gunslinger. D- D- DC. DC owns Vertigo. Yeah. So it's DC uh, property. So Preacher, okay. the Gunslinger. The okay. Gunslinger. Okay. The 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 Saint, the Saint of Killers. Okay. okay. Always, he's so dig dope. It. So dope. Um, assuming Magneto's not a villain, <laughs> let's go with this. Who's my only other choice, Tom? Only other choice. Big bad villain. Big bad. Actual villain. That 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 Corey likes. It uh, it, it has to. It, mm. it's, uh, what? Uh, Do you have a different answer? No, no, no. I'm thinking of mine. Mm-hmm. Oh well, I don't think I have it. Go ahead, Josh. Cloud dude. Galactus. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's apocalypse. For oh, sure. Apocalypse is great. <laughs> His the way he speaks, yeah. The way he's written. Mm-hmm. So good. Apocalypse so good. Really great. Uh and indeed. there's just like he's got this every time you read that it's apocalypse in a, in an X-Men comic, you're just like, fuck. They're so <laughs> they're so fucked <laughs> and, right and, now. And the cool thing, I really hope that they do this with the MCU, is that they do say that how he ac- he assimilated the powers of the celestials to show like he is really powerful. Yeah. Like in Secret Wars, he was fighting the Thor Corps. There was a cop, like, squad of Thors, and Apocalypse was, like, handling them. I was like, what? Yeah, what? it's nuts. What? Uh, what? Yeah, and there's just, you know, it, the history behind him, uh, OG mute. Anyway. Yeah, I first dig mutant. Yeah. yeah, man. So Apocalypse would be my, my choice. Cool. Nice. Well, everybody at home, thank you so much for listening. If you are watching on YouTube or live on Twitch, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Uh, If you are uh, of the audio kind and prefer audio, our podcast is everywhere podcasts can be heard. Uh, And like I said, youtube.com backslash nerd on the podcast. You'll find us there. All of our podcast episodes go there. Update and nerd on the podcast. Um, Check out our website. Uh, that has all of the information, nerdon.tv. Uh, pretty much all the linky links are there. Uh, do consider joining that Nerdon Nation. It does allow us to be the best that we can be. It allows us to keep upgrading our content and all that jazz. So please do check it out, nerdon.tv backslash Patreon. It really does help. I know that we say that often, but it really does help. Um, one quick shout out, get 20% off and free shipping with the code nerdon at manscaped.com. That is 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Oh. Josh took it there from it me. It's right here. And use it's code, so good. Use code nerdon. Share it with your friends and family if you like what you hear today. Stop by, rate, and review. It helps so much. It really does it because does. we've learned that people make their decision on whether to listen or not based on the amount or the reviews. So so does the algorithm. <laughs> so does the algorithm. The algae rhythm. Yeah. It decides. But uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome for that. Man. Uh, tune into this week's episode, Space Jam, A New Legacy, posting on Thursday. Uh, but yeah, that is it. 
Thank you so much. We appreciate you all. You know the drill. As always, nerd on. Nerd on.